what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to forza horizon 5 here in the spring season series and number eight today we're gonna be knocking out the weekly forza Thon challenge that deals around this car here the 2003 volkswagen golf r32 and then we'll jump into the seasonal event lab hosted or presented by um ar12 nick so excited about that but um let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly forzathon challenge and get that underway so we've actually already completed step number one we used the golf r32 in a seasonal championship this week so we actually owned and dro drove it already um so that was easy enough um, and now our next step is to win two road racing events in our Golf R. So we've got it set up in B class. I think I'm going to throw a tune on it to get it up to A class. Um, just so this is a little bit faster. Um, we'll use this one here from you. Grundy sounds good. So the share code for it is 177-722-626. And this is just to get it done just a little bit faster. Obviously, B-Class, it would have worked fine stock even if you wanted to do that. But um, in the sense of, you know, being able to get through the race a little bit faster, or race is a little bit faster, um, just to, you know, knock through these. Um, let's go to Arch of Mulligay. And I think I've got a blueprint set up here. And let me make sure. It does say just road racing events. Okay. It doesn't say a sprint race or, you know, a circuit. It just says road racing event. So let's browse. Um, apparently I do not have one. Let's create one. And we'll just do hot hatch because it will. Actually, let's do this. Let's do anything goes, because then we can use it for future events as well. Keep the class open. Um, we'll do event settings, number of drive avatars. Turn that off. Laps one, duration, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's make it early afternoon. Um, we'll leave it custom. We'll make it clear. That way it's easy enough to race um that sounds good we'll publish that um and the share code for this event if you want to use it as well is 377-623-444 so basically i'm just going to run through this twice um there is a trick if you hit restart it won't count that i don't believe i think you have to go completely out of the race and then start it back up but I'll test that out real quick. Um, I'll fast forward through this um, this race really quickly, and I'll see you guys here as we um, cross the finish line. All right, there we go. So that was one down. Um, I'm gonna back out, make sure that it did count that um, as a road race event. And then we'll jump back into the race again. Knock it out a second time. Okay, and then... Okay, it did count it as one, so that is good. Um, so again, we're just going to enter the race again here in a second. It's a solo there. Um, that is the one. Archer Mulege Circuit. Just one lap. Or Mulege. I always say Mulege because that is my english coming through my american right um i think it is mulehe uh, is the actual pronunciation i think but nonetheless i'm gonna run through this real quick i'll see you guys once we cross the finish line again all right there is our second time through there and we'll see if that counted as it should have And racing performance complete. So now we need to earn 
six stars in danger sign so um that is frankly easy enough to do let's just see if we can't find a quick danger sign so this one we need 850 feet um we're gonna hit this one multiple times um you can do this as well or if you want to venture off and try to do different ones you can do that too um, so we need 850 feet. I don't know that we'll get it in this because this is set up more probably for... Eh, it's doing pretty well. Um, I mean, this was set up for this event. Or this... What's it called here? The weekly force thon challenge. So it might be fine. Alright, we didn't get three stars there. We got two, though. So that's fine. Um, we got one... We got two there, so if we do that two more times, then we'll get the six stars. Easy enough, right? So let's just go run at it one more time. Well, two more times. I'm curious to see if I can make it to where it gets the 850 feet for three. I don't think it can, at least with the run up that I'm giving it. Got a little bit more there. Um, let me make sure 100% this is counting. Yeah, you can see we've got four of six. So we're doing, doing A-OK -okay here. We'll jump back over here and do it one more time. And off we go for the last time. We need or to meet this requirement for six stars. And you can do this with any danger sign. Um, if you can get three, I mean, I could have upgraded this to where, oh, don't flip. If it flips, it's gonna fail. Let's see, does that count? Okay, we're still, all right, there we go, saved it. All right, so that should get us the three stars, or the six total stars for that challenge, up, up, and away complete. And now we just need to earn 10 speed skills. So that's easy enough to do. Realistically, I could have just up the uh, the tune again. Just download another tune since we'll need it for this anyway. Um, but we're just going to dart down the highway. Since we only need 10, that shouldn't take too long, I would think. But we'll find out. Let's see. So there's one. Bank one, okay. There's two, three. I don't know that we can even get to the ultimate speed. One, two, that's five, six. Seven. You can kind of mix them in, because it's not going to be eight. Come on. Nine. We should need one more. Oh, okay. I guess it counted that somewhere. But there we go. That is that. So that one's done. And now we'll move on to the Rainbow Road Event Lab, presented by AR12 Nick. So this will get us the Porsche 718 GTS and our car restrictions are A-class UTVs. So we'll jump over here and get it started. All right, we're gonna use the Sierra Cars RX3 and this share code or this tune from Sunip 143744726. Um, just because I want to use this thing. I've not driven it since the showcase. Maybe it wasn't the showcase. It was an expedition, maybe, to open up one of the festival sites. Um, so, we'll see what this looks like. I think this is what it's more so meant for. Um, is this car over any of the other UTVs? Because um, it's more of a go-kart, right? Because Rainbow Road is from Mario Kart, for those of you that um, aren't familiar. So we'll see what this is, see how it does. 
and see how this little buggy can handle. All right, I hope it's not like set to a ridiculous amount of lap. Hopefully it's just like one or two. Three, okay, that's fine, I guess. Woo. And we're already off. That's not a great sign. All right, let's try that again. Let's see how this handles. And, that, oh my gosh, it's so bump. Why does it gotta be that way? All right. Whew. Come on, let's get up in the first. This traffic is stressing me out. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. No, oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. This isn't the smoothest stuff ever. Uh, <laughs> I understand that, you know, it's probably not the easiest thing to make because some of this stuff does not snap. I don't know that any of it does. But, yeah, not the smoothest track ever. Um, I would say not the smoothest track at all, but it looks like the Dravatars are having issues, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, hopefully like the Hot Wheel stuff coming. Um, they made it to where like you can use the Hot Wheel pieces in Event Lab if you own the DLC. Um, so hopefully that'll like set up for some really awesome new like courses and such. Um, obviously doing stuff like this because they have announced that that stuff will snap as well which will be really really cool um, but yeah we've got two more laps of this I'm just going to skip towards the end we are so far out ahead and it's probably not necessary for you guys to sit here and watch me do this and listen to me talk or whatnot. so I'll see you guys here in just a second All right, but we're on our final stretch here. Um, didn't take too long. It's definitely not as bad as some of the um, event labs. So thankful for that. But let me know what you think of that down below as well if you have done it or if you did it. Um, it's fun. I think it would be a little more interesting if they made those like online events. But nonetheless, we got that done. And that gets us that 718 Cayman GTS. One of my favorite cars in the game. All right, but there we go. That is Rainbow Road complete. That'll give us enough points to get the Auto Union Type D for the entire series reward and the Audi RS4 Avant along with the Mercedes AMG One um, for the spring season. So that's where we'll end off the video and the spring season in the series i guess um i hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful if you did either definitely leave a like on the video definitely get subscribed for future forza horizon 5 content just like this um every week i do go through and make videos on the entirety of the festival playlist and i'm trying to start getting other kinds of content around horizon 5 out on the channel as well so Definitely stay, get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we will catch you in the next video.